Now we, we're looking at the municipality industry analysis. The same principle applies like we did with the uh, district analysis, with the provincial analysis. You look at the municipality in terms of which municipalities are supplying these products and services, the quantity. So you have to find your top suppliers in terms of municipalities. The top supplier in terms of the municipality, the second, the third, the host, and then the rest of the municipality. So you look, you look at the total uh, country consumption, then you split it into five. So it will be with this total consumption, if the industry is in retail, the retail is let's say 100 billion. So you look at the, that's the total consumption in the country. It's 100 billion. So the first municipality, the top municipality, let's say it's 10, it's 10 billion. The second one is consuming or is supplying 8 billion. The third one is supplying 6. And your host country, your host province is supply, your host municipality is supplying another 10. So you take the total of this, you minus it from the total supply of the country. Then that balance, you will put it under uh, the, the remaining municipalities. So, but certain industries, you don't have to analyze it at munis municipality level, like your mining industry, because it's not important because the consumption is not done at that municipality level. But what can guide you is even if you do the industrial analysis at the municipality level, it can see how many industries within that space because sometimes certain municipalities focus on certain industries. So it will show the supply or the demand of that municipality in that sector. So that it might give indication to say how well does the municipality look after this sector? Is it an important sector in the municipality? Is it critical in that municipality? Will you get municipal support? Is the consumption high in that municipality? Will you consume locally? Is your product consumed in your municipality or you have to take it to another municipality? So the municipality analysis, it shows the consumption based on the municipality so that you understand the dynamics from where you're operating from. Are you gonna, your product will, will the product be consumed in the municipality that you're operating from? or will your product be consumed externally. But the most important thing is you need to have your top three municipalities in terms of supply and in terms of consumption. So you'll have three. If they are common, you'll only have three. So you need to know which municipality are the top consumers and which municipality are the top three suppliers. If they are the same, you're gonna only have three. If one is common, then that means you're only going to have five because this one will be in both sides. So you get your top three. Then you get your the numbers for your host municipality in terms of consumption and the supply. How much of that product and services is supplied from your municipality and how much is your municipality consuming the product. And then once you have those four figures, then you must you minus them from the total country consumption then those are the remaining that figure that you get from there you allocate it to the remaining municipality so how you'll do it is i'll select i have data i have the municipality the this is the sector it's unit then i select the the municipalities so if let's say you you select there but you might have maybe it's pulukwan you just type p p p p P and until you get to the municipality that you're looking for. So if you type your first letter, because the list is long, you just type the first letter until it gets to the municipality that you're looking for. And then you define if, what is it? The first, as always, to create is your host municipality. Then you put the units that they are consuming there. In terms of consumption, how many units? And then consumption in terms of the value, how much are they consuming value-wise? That municipality that is hosting you, where did you get the data? Then you confirm. <coughs> then after you created the, the host, then you, created the, you, you need to create the other three municipalities. 
if still uh, Polokwani is the top consumer, then if I type P, oh, there I've passed Polokwani. I just have to continuously type the P until I get to Polokwani. Then I select Polokwani. Then I say it's my top supplier. In terms of consumption, what is Polokwani? Ah, maybe it's just in the remaining municipalities. Then I give Polokwani its figures there. And then I confirm where I source the data. Then I confirm. Then in Jalonjal, you create the different municipalities. But you need to create your top three and the host. And the balance in terms of the consumption, you put it under the remaining uh, municipalities. Then you'll get your industry analysis at the municipality level. And as I said, like in all forms, how to complete the, the form. You can watch the video here. You can uh, or you can read in terms of how you complete this form, and then you can read more or watch the video in terms of uh, how you do your municipal municipality industry analysis. As I said, certain industries it's not important to do industry analysis for municipality because maybe the consumption is not important or. Your, your products not consumed uh, at a municipal level, but they are consumed nationally or you are exporting. So those are the different, uh, depending on the different industries that you are in. You need to decide if the industry analysis or your municipal industry analysis is important to you. If it's important, then you do the, the analysis. You find the top three consumption. You find the consumption of your host municipality and then you take those total consumption, you minus it from the country consumption, then you get for the remaining provinces. So you're going to have five entries for the supply side, and then you have the five entries for consumption. So you're going to have the top three consu cons consuming municipalities, you're going to have the host uh, municipality, then you're going to have for the remaining municipalities. So that's how you complete your uh, municipality industry analysis. And then the app will generate it and give you a, a nice pie chart, pie chart to show you where the consumptions are. But that information will help your stakeholders to understand your industry a little bit better in terms of the consumption and the supply per municipality. Then you click back to the dashboard, then your, your, your municipal industry analysis will, will have been completed and confirmed. Thank you.